The Game Boy Camera was released in 1998 and was at the time the world's smallest digital camera. When kids asked their parents to buy it for them, they played it for about a week then moved on to other games. The Game Boy Camera may seem obsolete compared to the cameras of our smartphones, yet taking photos with one is like a game itself since you really have to focus on making a good image. I could go on about my experience using one since it's in my handle, but let's focus on one of the more interesting features of the Game Boy Camera, the DJ game. You can access the DJ game by pressing play. Then a space shooter game starts. That's when you hit the ship that says D. To make something new, press new. Nintendo puts thought on how to present its features. We see what looks like a DJ at his table. You can actually put a face on that DJ, so take a selfie. To get started with the beats, press select. There are three sets of keyboard synthesizers that can play up to 16 notes at the same time. Sound 1 has noises that have a deeper pitch, like a bass. Sound 2 has a higher pitch notes. The noise section has sounds that sound more like TV static. Take the time to arrange these beats on this repeating 16 notes to get some music going. Press B to return to the DJ. Set the tempo, which is the track speed. Turn the three sets of keyboard noises on or off. There are also nine sets of noises that can be heard by pressing A. They're like when the DJ makes noises by scratching the vinyl records. There are noises that sound like they're from space or something like that, something sci-fi. Can this be a practical DJ tool? Well, it's not something I've seen happen, but I say it's possible. I recommend getting two Game Boy cameras to be a DJ. One where you can adjust the notes as they are playing, and another with a steady beat and being able to make those scratch noises by pressing A. How does the DJ game compare to when making music with Mario Paint? Well, the DJ game has more variations and sound like chiptune sounds. Whereas Mario Paint has, well, more Mario sounds. It plays 16 notes on a loop, whereas Mario Paint has 24 bars. It helps that there are three separate keyboards, though in Mario Paint you can arrange multiple sounds on the same vertical line to get rhythm and bass. Control-wise, the Game Boy Camera DJ is more tedious when pressing the D-pad so you can press sounds on the keyboard, where Mario Paint has the mouse. All things considered, Mario Paint works better for making music, be it original music or covers. The DJ game works as if you're performing live. As I have said, get two Game Boy cameras to be a practical DJ.